welcome back to my channel. My name is Sharman, I'm 11 years old. And for those of you who are new here, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and turn your post notifications to be notified whenever I upload a new video. But for this video, guys, I've been seeing this trend all over TikTok when people are trying fufu and then like they're eating it with something else. So I decided, considering this is Diamond's Kitchen Studio, I'm going to be cooking it and showing people how to eat it. So let's, I'm going to the shops right now to go get the things that I'm going to be needing. So let's get on with the video. Let's go. So my dad agreed to drive me there. shop but today I'm going to be supporting African businesses so I'm going to be getting it from a Ghanaian shop. Here is the shop that we're going to be going to. We are currently in town and the shop is right opposite us. Get these guys, so I'm gonna ask my dad if I'm allowed to. Um, this is a cassava flower, it's you can mostly find people eating this in Central Africa, which is where my mom and dad are from. But my mom doesn't really like buying the ones from the UK because it just really tastes like how it tastes in Africa, so she normally eats things like semolina. So, I'm today, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make fufu out of semolina, so I'm not therefore I'm not going to be needing this. There's different type of fufu in Africa. So here is a another one. This is maize meal. You can find this in Congo Democratic and other countries in Africa. That's what they used to make their fufu. But in Congo Republic, they use the other one, which I was talking about earlier. So therefore, they use many different types of fufu flour to make fufu. So this is potato starch. This is like a part that you use, you mix in with semolina to make it stronger and so it can hold together because considering we're making fufu out of semolina, we're going to be using this. So there are two types of semolina. We've got semolina fine, which is like harder to use because you need to have like the skills to be able to mix it because if you don't cook it properly, it will become lumpy. So most of the time people would use the coarse one. And as I'm feeling it, it feels way softer and it's much more easier to make because it wouldn't be as lumpy as this one would be. So here is what the one we're going to be buying looks like. Okay. We finish shopping, we're going to be going home so we can make fufu and I'm so excited because I'm going to be making it for the first time. and I changed into some comfy clothes. I'm wearing my DKS hoodie. But now I'm gonna be making fufu for the first time. I'm super scared, but I'm excited at the same time because I've never made it before. I watched a, quite a lot of YouTube tutorials on how to make it. So I have kind of an idea on how I'm gonna try and make it. And I've also seen my mom cook it before. So I hope this goes well, guys. Wish me luck. Um, so I'm gonna be using the semolina course. There are two different types, which I explained early on in the video. And I'm also gonna be using Farina, which is potato starch. So I'm super excited to make it, guys. So let's begin. I just want to say this is not a tutorial because this is my first time cooking it. So I just want to do the challenge and try it for fun. But guys, I've seen a lot of people where they would put it in their water in the pot and then they would boil it. But I decided to do it an easier way, which is use a kettle. So I'm going to be boiling the kettle, then putting the water in the pot. But I won't be turning the 
oven like cooker on because it normally bubbles and I'm like really scared of that. So I am so excited to make it. I'm pouring the hot water in. It's I'm scared. So ah. Enough. So now it will be time to turn the stove on. So I'm going to put it to eight. And I'm going to wait for it to bubble. And then I will start to put the semolina course in so let's just wait so it's boiling now guys and now i'm thinking is this water too much comment down below if this is too much water but i think now it's time to start adding it i'm pretty scared i don't know if i should add it with my left yeah should i try and add it with my left hand and mix it with my right hand okay and we have to be quick apparently when you put this in And I'm not sure if I'm putting too much as well. I think that's enough. And because apparently it needs to get thick, and then when it's thick, it's enough. So I'm gonna keep mixing it. So is it enough, guys? I'm not sure. And it's start. I can feel the texture and it's thickening, so I think we're off to a good start. And then I think when it gets thick enough, we're gonna add the potato starch. Oh, so it started to get really hot when I was using the spatula. Not the spatula, when I was, yeah, the, when I was using the whisk. So now I'm gonna be using a bigger wooden spoon and I'm just mixing it. And when it gets bubbly, guys, like how are you supposed to remove it from the stove so it, like, it doesn't burn you because like the bubbles will splash up. So now I'm going to be adding in the potato starch. So I'm gonna do what I did before, add it with my left hand. I don't think I need to add much to this. And I'm gonna mix it. And I feel it becoming thicker. I'm going to add a little bit more. So add a little bit more. And mix it again. Okay, I think that's enough now. And I feel it becoming thicker. I'm so excited guys. This is my first attempt and this came out amazing. Am I doing a good job? I feel like I'm doing a good, good job. I'm not sure actually. And I'm I have had to lower the heat because it started to get really hot. And apparently it needs to get hot so you're, it doesn't like stick to the pot. And then once it's like hot enough, you'll be able to put it onto the plate. And this is hot. It's really difficult, guys, to keep stirring it because it's getting thicker and thicker. So, guys, I normally see people like pour it into like onto the plate, but I feel like I'm not gonna be able to do that, so I'm not even gonna try. So I'm gonna get the spoon and like just pick it up piece by piece and then put it into the plate. Looks like an ice cream scoop. <laughs> and I'm gonna do that again. And then after that, I'm gonna have to mold it, which I'm really, really scared to do. So I'll see you once I put all of it into the plate. Now I put it all on the plate. I need to go wash my hands so I can mold it. I'm absolutely terrified. So let me just put some water on my hands. I 
feel like this is gonna be enough. Okay. Ah, I'm scared. I don't, I'm not actually sure how they shape it. Oh, this is hot. Ah! It's like burning my hands. And I have no idea how people shape it as well. I feel like I'm doing a really bad job. I'm just trying to get it into a circle. And I'm... So guys, this is what the shape looked like. I kind of failed to make it. But at least it's good enough. So guys, we've got all the food on the table here. And I'm with my special guest, Bertie. Welcome to my channel. So I'm going to be asking you a few questions. Have you ever tried African food? One time. What was it? Kwanga which is a cassava yam. What would you rate it? Do you like it or did you not like it? I didn't like it, no. Okay, so have you tried any other? Uh, Beijing, Beijing. Ben, is it called Benya? Benya, that's the one, yeah. It's called Poof Poof in English. So we're gonna be trying spinach with palm oil and chicken. I have never, ever tried this before. So I'm super excited to try it with my fufu so let's eat it guys but first we're going to be washing our hands in this bowl so we're going to be putting our hands in and then using the tissue and then we're going to be trying it and i'm super excited so let's just clean our hands now and now we're going to get the tissue just to wipe our hands and I'm going to be showing you how you like like take it to eat it so you put your hands in like this and you pick it up like that okay and then you dunk it in like this I eat it like this I don't care so. <laughs> pretty nice. You like it? No. No. What would you rate it? For me? Yes. A two out of five. That's For a pretty me. low score then. I like Puff Puff. That was nice. <laughs> them was beautiful. I could eat them now as well. It's okay. So I'm going to be trying the chicken now. Now, the chicken tastes amazing. I absolutely love it. Do you like the chicken? I love the chicken. It is nice. Really nice. So, what part did you dislike about it? The foo-foo. I didn't like the foo-foo. I'll give it a 2 out of 5, but I love the chicken. I'm just about to try the soup is it spicy that is nice i'll give that a five out of five okay so if it's good then i might as well try it um i like it but then i don't like it I have like a mixed opinion about it. It tastes nice, but then... Mix it with the chicken. Okay. Now I like that. It tastes amazing. That is a nice African dish. <laughs> mm. That's how good it is. Mm. Beautiful. Mix it with the chicken. Oh, it, it tastes better. It does. Mix it with the chicken, it tastes better. That is one nice African dish. There you go, guys. Look at that chicken mixed with the spinach. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm. And Thumbs my up for this. My favorite part is when you have the chicken with like what you said before. Five out of five, that is. I just want to say thank you, Bertie, for coming on my channel 
and I absolutely loved making this guys and I love how we had different opinions considering we came from different backgrounds and I absolutely love this dish guys so make sure to subscribe because we are so so close to 1.5k on YouTube and I'm so thankful for every single one of you guys that have subscribed I really hope you guys enjoyed this video Bertie is there anything you have to say? I would swap the fufu for mashed potato to okay. do with me, okay. with this dish. But people have different opinions. But I'll say, try the fufu. If you don't like it, swap it for mashed potato. You might find it better. Okay. But thank you for giving me the opportunity to try this African dish, which I like. Um, that's all I can say. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys.